and India has pushed back against a suggestion by a top European Union official for a crackdown on Russian oil resold by Indian firms as refined fuels with external affairs minister S. Jay Shankar saying such exports don't violate EU regulations. My understanding of uh, the council regulations is that uh, if Russian crude is substantially transformed in a third country, then it's not treated as Russian anymore. I would urge you to look at Council Regulation 833-2014. External Affairs Minister S. Jaishankar's stern response to the European Union for trying to tutor India on oil resale. This after the European Union's foreign policy chief urged the European Union to crack down on imports coming from India. While India's External Affairs Minister and the European Union's Foreign Policy Chief met at the Trade Technology Talks in Brussels, the European Union's Executive Vice President on competition had there said that there was no doubt about the legal basis of the sanctions and that the European Union and India would have the discussion as friends with an extended hand and of course not a pointed finger. I will not uh, add uh, to this. Um, there is, uh, I think, no doubt about the legal basis uh, of the sanctions. Uh, of course, it is uh, a discussion that we will have uh, with friends, uh, but it will be with an uh, uh, extended hand and, and, of course, not with a, a pointed finger. Interestingly, European oil majors have made record profits after the surge in energy prices ever since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. While the European Union's goal is to stop feeding Russia's war chest by banning Russian refined oil products in retaliation for the war in Ukraine, experts believe questions can't be raised on a third country such as India now, as if someone is selling oil, there's also a clear buyer for it. Earlier this month, Rajya Sabha MP Jawahar Sirkar, in a letter to External Affairs Minister, mentioned the report by Finland's think tank, the Centre for Research on Energy and Clean Air, on two Gujarat refineries making huge profits from exporting Russian oil. India has called this report misleading and a deceptive effort to tarnish India's image. While tackling sanctions evasion is likely to be a key discussion topic at the G7 summit in Japan, it is important to remember the oil market dynamics have clearly changed ever since the Russia-Ukraine war. Sakshi Bajaj for NDTV.